that's a spicy meatball. And we're playing Dark Souls episode three, Redux. For most of you, that probably is scratching your head because we already got an episode three on the YouTube channel. What's happening is I've kind of uh, corrupted my save. So it's um, due to the fact that I transport my Xbox 360 hard drive from one Xbox to another. So uh, what I've decided to do is start from scratch. Um, but not entirely stuck from scratch because um what's happening now is uh i decided to uh use a necromancer and um play through all the way back to uh the dragon which was episode three and um well it's not too far away, so uh we have time to do it i've managed to uh go through every point up to this so there's not too much of a problem for those of you who missed me uh, we will have an episode 4 uh, this week as well and there was a bonus in episode 5 so you get like a triple header Ooh, uh, now what I find different from um, the necromancer in the night as well the Obvious being that the Necromancer has uh, magical abilities, so uh, hence the firing flames out of my wrist. Oh, skeleton, fuck off. Now, um, and I'm dead. <laughs> the, the best part of having these magical abilities is I find that they can get rid of enemies quicker than just having your sword on you um, and with that as well I decided to um, strengthen my abilities but instead of having uh, a skeleton key that unlocked nearly everything in the game I decided to go with uh, Witch's Ring which gives me other mystical abilities right. To no, I'm not going to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, what I would like if you guys can like this video, leave a comment, uh, anything really. If you believe I suck, which is fine. <laughs> this game is extremely hard and takes a lot of time to complete. So um, you know, as this being the first season of the playthroughs, it was kind of silly for me to actually pick this game but I'm doing good as is. Um, I've also uh, one of the reasons why I haven't posted episode 4 last week was because I had a stomach bug. The benefit of being a father and having kids is that they just give you everything they pick up you know um, which isn't great. So. I was uh, bedridden for a couple of days trying to recuperate from the constant vomiting which is brilliant because that's all you need to brighten your day vomit okay well I've got my souls so I haven't lost anything another benefit of um, starting over in this game is I haven't uh, completed against the dragon yet again so um, I'm not going to be using others to help me fight the dragon um, but I might collab with a few people in regards to help me beat bosses so don't hate me because of that it makes it a little bit easier and also distracts them takes their attention away from me um, so yeah what's been going on let's see um, I've got a few more projects coming up. Uh, just recently been writing a script for something that's going to be epic. It's going to be a, a viral type film thing, which I'm not going to go into too much. Just that uh, if you like this video, you subscribe, leave a comment. Um, 
he will be updated. And I'm dead again. And also, you know, if you want to leave a comment, let me know what you guys have been up to. That would be brilliant. Because I do love you all. You're the reason why I do this. Otherwise, I'll just be some nutcase playing games all day. I also want to give a big shout out to um, other guys who do this and make it seem easier. Because <laughs> they do like sort of a week in week basis of posting new videos of games. Guys like um, the Media Cows, a lot of guys on my Chinema. I uh, can't name you all. Um, two Friends Play, of course, because I do love those shows and the witty banter. And also guys who, you know, have more of a creative aspect. Um, I've just recently seen a short film from uh, Bat in the Sun Productions. They started off as a production company that mostly um, experimented doing like Batman shorts and feature length films that they released uh, for free and now are part of the Michinima network. So check out their channel, they're huge, they're amazing. Um, and another show which uh, I haven't been on for a couple of days. Um, well, a couple of weeks, shall I say. Uh, Smart Out Moment, um, their Smash Bros. radio show. Haven't been on there for a bit, but I'm um, going to be making my uh, reappearance this Friday. So, anybody want to check that out, just uh, follow the links on my YouTube channel. And that will put you all over to the, the podcast. It's a great show. Um, and it's not a void of humour, but it's it's really funny. And you know, we have some relevantly interesting opinions as well. So myself, uh, Braden Mayhew, Chris Dace, and uh, Tony Mango. And if you're an independent wrestler um, and you you know want to promote one of your projects, please, please, just a uh, Either email me at uh, michaelburhan at nerdgenius.com um, or leave a comment on my official blog site because I would love to hear from you because we're looking at um, getting varied opinions, especially you know not just WWE shows but talk about wrestling in general. Speaking of wrestling, uh, have you guys checked out? Um, the recent news on TNA and Vince Russo parting ways. I know a lot of you are probably going to say that he's going to be signed by WWE, but I doubt it. Uh, not just the fact because he's god awful as a writer, but if you look at um, the way he parted ways with the WWE back when he jumped ship to WCW, he not only left the company on bad terms um, and also tried to. Uh, take shots at the company every opportunity he got but he also took Jeff Jarrett away from them got him to sign to WCW under a huge pay deal and um, that's when Jarrett went through the, uh, the whole uh, pay me this amount of money otherwise I won't be working in the Continental title match with China so he literally held uh, the show hostage similar to what the ultimate warrior did now granted the ultimate warrior and the wwe are on good terms at the moment but you know i don't see them actually going back on good terms with Jarrett or russo you know however so plus the fact that he you know the whole karen Jarrett thing as well so anybody that goes near jeff i doubt um going to be part of the WWE anytime soon.